President Muhammad Bari has thanked outgoing ministers who are seeking elective offices in 2023 for their services to the nation. In a valedictory session at the council chamber in Abuja on Friday, Buhari said the ministers who resigned from his cabinet to pursue their political ambitions will be replaced without delay. He also admonished other members of the cabinet to be more diligent and committed to the success of the administration. The meeting follows the president's recent directive to all ministers and political appointees contesting for various elective positions to resign from the appointment on or before Monday, May 16, 2022. I hold on memories of incisive and robust discussions during cabinet meetings, rendering of our four months reports during special sessions and presidential retreats. With these and much more, I'm happy to note that a significant number of cabinet members have become sufficiently equipped to aspire to higher elective offices, including the office of the president. This shows the impact of the experience gathered while serving as members of the Federal Executive Council. I have no doubt that if the next president emerges from among former members of this cabinet, like any other aspirant, ample competence and outstanding service delivery would be on display. This will be part of our legacies to Nigerians. Some of the outgoing ministers who spoke to journalists expressed appreciation to the president for the opportunity to serve and in that all knowledge garnered over the years would help in your future ambition. For me, it's been awesome, you know, coming from the private sector to the public sector, I've shared a lot of experiences, especially working under Mr. President, who has been two-time president of this nation, so it shows you that there's a wealth of experience a man has given to us. So I'm grateful to him for the impact he has played in my life. Because we are fighting gender-based violence, and now, what we are facing is political, toggery political violence. And I don't see any difference between political uh, violence and gender-based violence. And that must stop. Because I have no reason to say I will come out to contest because already I have a female serving senator, which I was very ready to support. But she has been threatened and intimidated. And that has forced her to back up. And when she backed up, women could pressure me. They bought the form for me. I never, I've not put one dime to purchase any form. But Nigerian women are making a statement. They said it's unacceptable 